my name is Lori Goddard and I am a customer trainer for Roche Diagnostics. As part of the commercial education team, my job is to train operators on the operation and maintenance of the Cobos E411 analyzer. Today, I will be showing you the daily preparation tasks required for the instrument. Those tasks include system reagent and hardware checks, reagent management, analyzer maintenance, and performing calibration in QC. The Cobos E411 has two configurations that are available, the disc and the rack. Today I will be showing you the daily preparation activities for the rack system since that is the more common configuration in the market. So let's start our daily preparation. And the first thing that we're going to do is look at the system overview screen. This is a great screen because it gives us an overall view of the system. The software uses color to direct our attention to the different areas that need to be attended to. First, what we're going to do is take a look at our reagent inventory. And if we look in the center of the screen, we're going to see an image of the reagent compartment. If I had a reagent that was empty, I would be able to see red on the screen. If I had a reagent whose lot had expired, I would see cross hatches throughout the wedge. On the far left hand side, I'm able to see the complete reagent inventory. So I can determine what reagent I need to load based on the number of tests that are currently available. So after looking at my screen, I know what reagent I need, so I'm gonna go to the refrigerator and get that reagent out. So now I'm back from the refrigerator with the required reagent, so I'm going to remove it from the box and allow it to warm up to room temperature. So now we're ready to do our system reagent and hardware inventory checks, which is also known as your consumables. Again, the system overview screen will show us exactly what consumables are needed to be loaded you're going to be able to see yellow or red on the screen to notify you of low volume. So we're going to open the cover. And the first thing that we're going to load are the system reagents, which are called ProCell and CleanCell. Those reagents are found behind the super shield, so we need to open that. And you can see that there can be two sets of ProCell and CleanCell on board. It depends on your lab's volume whether you have two sets on board or maybe just one set. For our demonstration, I'm going to load an additional bottle set. The instrument will always use the bottle set that is in the farthest right position. So I'm going to move my partially filled bottles that are currently on board into the farthest right positions. Those positions are keyed so the bottles only fit in one way and I will open the caps. Then I will get my new bottles of ProCell CleanCell. These are liquid and ready to use and I will load them on the analyzer. Again, opening the caps. Once they're loaded, then I will close the zipper shield. Now we're ready to look at our inventory of our cups and tips. On my system overview screen, I can see that I have a tray of tips that is currently empty. So I will remove the empty pack and then load a new one. So now let's look at our solid waste. On the system overview screen, it is counting the number of cups and tips that go into the solid waste container. The container can hold up to 1,100 cups and tips, so depending on your lab's volume determines how frequently you need to change it. So we're going to open the front door lift and slide the tray out. We will close the container and then dispose of it according to your lab's protocol. We will then have a new container that we will load in the tray and the opening will slide to the back of the instrument. And then close the door. Next, we will take a look at our water and our waste. The system water, located on the right-hand side of the instrument, needs to be filled to the three-liter mark. So if there's any water remaining in the container, we would dispose of that water and then fill to the three-liter mark with DI. Next, we would add 35 mils of a solution called SysWash. 
the liquid waste is located next to the water container, and I simply just slide it forward and then lift it out of the analyzer. You would dispose of the liquid waste according to your lab's protocol. So now I have my system water filled to the three liter mark, so I'm going to return it to the analyzer. And I have emptied my liquid waste, so I will load it also back into the analyzer and then slide it back. Now I'm ready to load the reagents. So the reagent compartment is located next to the cups and tips, so I will unlock the reagent compartment door and lift the lid off. I then take my reagent that is warm to room temperature, open the caps, and visually inspect for any bubbles. Then I will close the caps to the first stop. Loading the reagent, we want to make sure that the white capped bottle is loaded to the outside of the compartment. Then I would remove any empty or expired packs by simply lifting them out of the compartment. Once all my packs are loaded and expired and empty packs are unloaded, I will return the reagent cover and then lock into place. Then I will close the top cover. Since we've loaded our reagents, now we're ready to perform the reagent scan. That's just a simple push of the button. And what the instrument's going to automatically do is do a complete reagent inventory of all of the packs that I have loaded. In addition, it's going to check both the pro cell and clean cell inventory and also our cups and tips. Once it finds the ProCell clean cell set that we loaded, it will update the volume automatically and remove our red color and our yellow color for our reagent load list. After the completion of our reagent scan, we know that we have loaded all of the reagent and consumables required for our daily operation. So now we're ready to perform the hands-on maintenance. To perform the hands-on maintenance, we need to place the instrument into the sleep mode. And we do this by toggling the operation switch to the off position. We will see a screen on the software that will tell us that the instrument is now in sleep. At that point, we can open the top cover. And the first thing that we would check for would be any condensation that would be in the reagent compartment. We would also check for any condensation in the system reagent area. If there was any condensation present, just wipe it out with gauze. Next, we would clean our sample reagent probe. So I'm gonna move the sample reagent probe all the way to the left-hand position. Then take deionized water on gauze and simply wipe down the length of the probe. After we've performed both those tasks, then we'll close the top cover and wake the instrument back up. And that concludes the hands-on maintenance for the Cobos E411 analyzer. And as you can see, it only takes a couple of minutes to perform. Now I'm ready to prepare my calibrators and QC. Before I do that, I'm going to perform a sample data clear through the system overview screen. What this will allow me to do is to actually export my data to a DVD so that I would be able to retrieve it on another computer. So after I have selected the sample data clear and backed up my data, I'm ready to determine what reagents may need calibration. To do that, select the reagent on the screen and it will help us determine if a calibration is due. Now we're ready to prepare our calibrators and controls. Now I have prepared my calibrators and controls and I have loaded them on a five position rack. I need to make sure that the barcode is facing out and all my caps are open. Also, I'm going to leave a space in between my calibrators and my controls to make sure that I get QC run on all tests that are loaded. Now I'm going to load my tray. So I simply load the tray, close the cover, and start the instrument. The instrument will bring the rack into the analyzer, the barcodes will be read, and from that barcode, it's gonna know what test to calibrate and what QC to run. So you'll notice I did not have to program any calibration and control. It all comes from the barcode. 
the goal of this demonstration was to show how easy the daily preparation is for the Cobos E411 analyzer. The hands-on maintenance only takes a few minutes and that ensures that the instrument is in continuous operation and has excellent reliability for our customers. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you in training soon.